I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Native American earth lodge. I'm going to take one finger on the left, put a dot, and I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way across. Then I put two fingers and a dot, and I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way across. Right here in the center, I'm going to put a dot, and I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, connect, I come up on the top, I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And on the right, straight line down, straight line down, connect. Starting right here on the right, I'm going to draw a straight line, a curve line over, straight line up, curve line, connect. Underneath on the left. Straight line, straight line, up, connect, straight line, straight line, straight line, up, connect. Right next to that one, I'm going to draw another curve line up, come back to the bottom part, straight line down, mimic that line, straight line, connect, straight line down, up, connect, straight line down, up, connect. And I'll explain what all of these things are once we get a little bit further along. Now, on the left-hand side, I'm going to mimic exactly what I did on the right. I'm going to draw a slightly curved line, straight line down, curved line over, straight line up, connect. Straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Straight line down straight line over, straight line up, connect. Right next to that one, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line up, connect, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Now, this is built into an earth mound. So we're going to come over here on the left and we're just going to draw a curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line down, connect, curve line. Now on the right we're going to do the same thing. Curve line up, curve line, curve line up, curve line, curve line off the page. Now these are all wooden framed logs that put the earth mound, keep it all framed in together. So we're going to come back on the left and we're going to draw the mound. So we're going to draw a curve line up, curve line over, curve line down, off the page. Alright. Now, come right over here on the left. If you have room, we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, and then next to it, curve line, curve line, curve line. Come back to this one on the left and just draw a wavy, wavy line. Wavy line, wavy, wavy line, wavy line, connect. On this one, wavy, wavy line, up, down, up, over, wavy, wavy line, connect. Okay. All right. Let's see if that's everything. I think it is. Okay, now we're ready to color. Okay, like I said, these are wooden posts. So I've got three different colors of brown. Now if you don't have three different colors of brown, you can use one color and just color it in different gradations. 
So like this would be coloring it lightly with my brown. And the wooden frame is very important because there weren't a lot of trees. This would be like maybe in North Dakota. There wouldn't be a lot of trees, so you would make the main part of your frame as a brace to hold the rest of the wood, I mean the rest of the earth in. Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to come through and I am going to color my mound. And this was all maintained by the women. The men would help make the actual framing. But as far as like making like the mound part, this part that I'm doing, it's kind of an adobe mud mix that they would put together. So this is all in the, the frame of the um, actual mound. Then I'm going to still use that same brown and I'm going to come down and color these layers because these were not supposed to be shelters or dwellings that lasted. They're just supposed to be temporary for different seasons of the year. Okay. Now, if you have another brown, I would come over and do this a little bit darker. So I'm going to do this as a little bit darker brown. Okay. I'm going to add some dark brown lines on my wood. These are wood. You know, and they didn't have a lot of wood access, so that's where the mound comes in. But the mound, amazingly, would insulate them from the heat and from the cold, both. Okay, now, with a light green, I'm going to go over the top part of my mound, because it was made from the earth you would have little bits of green. It's pretty dry though. This is like prairie. It's pretty dry. And I think that's all for that. But, take your regular brown again and you might want to just do your trees. There weren't a lot of trees, but there were some. Then, using a regular green just to give it a little bit of color. I would color in my trees. Work your way over. Okay. And with my purple, I'm just going to color the inside of my entry. And that's just to give it some pop of color. Then I come in with my blue green. And I'm going to loop-de-loop my sky. Now, because this was a earth lodge, this was a big one that you would use possibly for sacred ceremonies and such. They would be, they could make smaller ones, but this was a lodge, so this would be pretty big size. Okay, finally, take your black. And you're just going to add some lines of black just to give it a little bit of depth. All the way across on your wood. Okay? I could maybe come back in and do my mound a little bit darker. So I might do that. A little bit darker. Just loop-de-loop. Now you can see how this also would just melt into the landscape. You know, they were environmentally correct. They used materials that were available. They didn't expect them to last long. But they made great architectural constructions for where they were. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Earth Lodge all colored in. Some of the uh, Native Americans that would use this construction were the Mandan, the Hidatsa, and the Arikara, which I'm sure I said wrong. Okay, bye-bye.